Yes guys and um, welcome to RG Handhelds once again. Uh, today we're checking out a, a, a new device. Um, it's called the uh, Thummy Color and it's so cute. This little guy here, you can probably see it. Um, the other ones, I have done a review on the two bottom ones. The old Thummy, um, uh, the black and white ones. The two top ones are also the new retail versions of uh, the uh, Tiny TV 2 and the Thummy Clear version. So I'll probably do a review on them too a bit later down the line. But today we're going to talk about this new cool little device. Uh, huge thanks to Ken Burns uh, for sending this uh, sample device out for me. Really appreciate uh, that for sending out the sample. Um, we're going to check out some specs first on this guy before we uh, have a quick look at it. So the new Thummy Color is on Kickstarter. I'll put all the links in the description of the video where you can check out this uh, cool little device and where you can actually pre-order it. Um, and it will be released shortly later this year, uh, around September, October time I've been told. So the device uh, is a fully functional game system in the palm of your hands. As you can see, it's absolutely tiny. Please bear in mind guys, this is an early beta prototype version. Plastic um, is 3D printed, so on the final retail version it will be a lot better plastic being used. So keep that in mind guys. Um, so it uses the new Raspberry Pi RP2350 processor, which is the su successor to the RP2040, which was used in the older Thummy devices. Right, so beautiful 128 by 128, 16 bit color, IPS TFT display. So now it's got that cool little color screen. Um, who knows, we might see Doom in color soon on this. Um, so yeah, it also has a rumble motor uh, and with working shoulder buttons. You can hear them click. Um, so you do have them shoulder buttons. Software is very in very early beta at the moment, so settings aren't available at the moment in the software. That's something they're working on. Um, but I will show you a few games running on this um, very shortly in a minute. Uh, internal speaker is a four-way. Uh, you got an internal speaker with a four-way D-pad, and then your A, B buttons and a menu button. So there's your menu button your a b right there your speakers there guys and your shoulder buttons on the top uh it's preloaded with five uh new games works right out the box uh backwards compatible with games made for the original thummy like i described here thummy and the thummy there uh rechargeable and programmable via usb so it does have a type C USB guys at the bottom there you can see uh, where you can recharge it and you can reprogram the device uh, using Python. I know they use Python to um, reprogram and upload games and so on. Create your own games using MicroPython uh, in our free browser code editor. So you can go to the online uh, site where you can actually just reprogram games uh, and upload them to the device so that is it guys um, I'm really quite impressed on first impressions um, I mean there's a handful of games at the moment uh, for the device uh, you got uh, I believe you got Monster, uh, Thumbagun 2, Tag, Buster Thumb uh, and it includes all original preloaded Thummy games also uh, that's on the final retail version that will be um, like I say it's got a rumble motor uh, and you can run the original games uh, on this device so don't think you can't use the older games uh, which you can um, and you can also order a, a dev kit online guys um, anyone interested in developing for the device uh, they'll let you pre-order uh, a, de a development board where you can uh, start getting uh, um, you know your own uh, development done right so 
what I'm going to do is just quickly explain everything what the device has on so you you got the screen a 128 by 128 px 16 bit color backlit tft lcd display you got two shoulder buttons here let me just zoom in for you guys two shoulder buttons here uh, you got your two a b action buttons here uh, you got a magnetic buzzer audio DV vibration motor just in there. Uh, you got a USB C port here, uh, 1010 milliamp rechargeable battery with about two hours of gameplay, guys. You're looking at uh, your power switch is just here, it's a flick switch. This is your little menu button. And a four-way rocker d-pad and that is it guys that is basically uh, the whole device you got a little hole you can put a lanyard in there and you got four screws again 3d printed guys so let's boot this little bad boy up little flick of the switch there and get this zoomed in for you guys Uh, let's see if we can see that. Try and zoom in a bit more. There you go. So you can see it's quite simple in software terms at the moment. Very early. You got a few games there. Um, and if you press a shoulder button, you got settings. It says nothing uh, here, uh, which is like I say, it's very early. They've not programmed any things. And there you go. You got some simple credits there of all the uh, guys in development for this device so if we go back to some games I'm just gonna fire up one of my classic games that I really like uh, I did see on here somewhere I preloaded quite a few games on here actually here you go good old classic let's try the medium I love this game quickly go through this game for you guys displaying the computer here oh well he's got connect 4 so one thing I've noticed I've not figured out how to exit back to the main menu yet it may be I'm doing something wrong or it's just not implemented yet so I simply just turn off and turn on because again guys it's very early in software at the moment uh, prototype so I must stress um, even the overall look of it uh, these are 3d printed parts purely for example so let's quickly check out another game we got a few other ones chess and so on Uh, puzzle let's have a look at this one not too sure not really played this game but it looks like fun I uh, just want to quickly go through all the games if we can Uh, if there is a way to um, exit back to the menu, I'll try to find out. A good old solitaire. There you go, guys. Looks great on the little screen there. You know, amazing that you can get something, you know, so small. So that's solitaire. 
it is really cute guys uh, let's just compare it to the old uh, old version yeah let's get this one out I have a few of these and then they've sent me another one thank you guys the actual retail version so comparing let me just get a little zoom in focused so you can see the size difference obviously it's a bit bigger than your little dummy but still incredibly incredibly small guys let's see if this thing just powers on I've not charged it for a year or so so maybe it might not power on yeah I think the battery's out um, give that a charge later but yeah that's it guys um, you can see it's incredibly uh, small form factor um, and it's got color screen now which is going to be a bonus type C um, you know all the goodness that you want in a little tiny handheld um, it's got a few games on here like I've just demonstrated now um, and then I know there'll be a few more games and a load more games coming out for the device as people program it um, that's basically a quick early look uh, at the uh, Thummy color guys um, and this was the old Thummy uh, still a great little device uh, you do have other devices like this. I'm going to get around to reviewing this. They sent me this out today as well. Uh, looks incredibly interesting, the Tiny TV 2. Um, so you can basically watch videos on this cool little device. And it has a little tiny remote. How cool is that, guys? Um, that will be some that I'll be reviewing shortly. But today was about this, guys. If you haven't already... Um, get on the kickstarter i'll link the page um and get one ordered before uh you know they're all sold out because uh, i know quite a few over a thousand have been sold already uh, early bird ones have all gone uh, first impressions absolutely amazing i'm really impressed i'm going to really look forward to the final retail version because i want to really review it uh, once they have all the software um, settings and you know added extra games and stuff I really want to do a full review on it but from first impressions I'm really impressed guys let me know in the video what you think you're you gonna get one or have you already pre-ordered what color I know they're available in about four different colors they've got a special edition one as well so check out that Kickstarter guys and you're it's all explained in there I will link it in the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you soon.